Okay guys, it's about as good as it's going. So when you download the PowerPoint, it looks like this. And then you're gonna save as biology, your period, and your name. So file, save as, I'm just gonna save it to the desktop. And then bio, first period, or whatever period you have in your name, okay? So that takes care of that and it'll save it to your desktop. Okay, and then for each slide, you need to read the instructions and execute the instructions. So I'm gonna do the first one with you. Um, after executing the instruction, I want you to delete it and then just put a title. So here's our example we're gonna do. So on this slide, I tell you to look up, copy and paste a, a picture of the geologic time scale here. So you go to the internet, you Google geologic time scale, you go to the website, do not just do this and do the right click. You must go to the website and you'll know in a second. So go to the website, find the image, copy it, come back here, click anywhere on the slide. If you click here and I right clicked copied. If I right click, go to paste, it's not going to work. You need to paste it, click anywhere else on the slide, and then I do control V to paste it. Then you can put it over here. You might have to decrease the size by putting your cursor on these little balls and doing something like that. So then I go back to my instruction. Um, after you look it up, copy and paste it, then delete my instruction, and just title the slide geologic time scale. So then we're gonna go back to the slide and I'm going to delete this and just have the geologic time scale. If you wanna center it, that's this button up in here in the center. Okay, now the last instruction for the slide, then add a hyperlink of where you got the data to title the slide. So what do you mean by that, miss? Well, this is what I mean. Here's the website that I use. So I click the website, I right click it, copy. I go back to my PowerPoint. I click my title and I right click, come down to um, hyperlink. And then right down here where it reads the address, again, control V for paste. And that puts exactly where you got it and then watch what it does up here. I unclick it and now it's blue. This blue tells me if I put it in mode, if I click this, it should go exactly to the website that you got it on. So you might have to watch this a few times and I have been cognizant of my um, speed of talking, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. Clearly, our internet's slow here. So that's how you do the, what do I put on this slide? How do I change from instruction just to title? And then how do I hyperlink it? The school laptop is a little slow. In other slides, while we're waiting, in other slides I ask you to add the name of your dinosaur or your plants. Now, when you go to do that, you just, there's a title at the top that reads insert text box, and you would click insert somewhere up here. You click insert, it'll drop down text box, and then you draw your text box on your slide and type your words, and so that's fairly easy. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but that's the bulk of it. So I will put um, this up on our YouTube. And if you have any questions, get to me on Edsby. Again, it is not um, clicking out so I could show you how to add a text box to write the names of your dinosaurs and plants when you get to that part, but there is an insert over here. You click that insert text box, then you drop the text box, and oh, there it goes. Finally to the link that you got the image, whoop, whoop. <clears throat> you need a less boring voice. All right, there you go, yeah. Anyway, so it sent me there. 
and now let's go back. All right, so here's yours. And so you do that one for each one. There's the Pangea map, Triassic map, Jurassic map, early Cretaceous. I put the time period in there because it took me a minute to find that. Late Cretaceous, your continent, and this is the pictures of your three to four dinosaurs, okay? And then the name of each. So if I want to pick my dinosaur, and I'm just gonna do dinosaurs in Africa during the Cretaceous period. And then list of African dinosaurs. And this is how I did it the first time. And then it was cool because when this came up, it was able to give me a list of all dinosaurs in Africa during all the different times. And then I just picked the ones obviously that were on, um, or excuse me, during the Cretaceous period. So this is what came up for me. It's got the name, the period, you know, if they're an omnivore, herbivore, carnivore, where exactly they were and any notes on them. So this dude's name right here. So let's just put Cretaceous, Egypt. All right, so say I copied his picture, found a picture of him, copied it and pasted it to my page here. And now I wanna add his name. So I have the picture here and you do that same method as we just did with the geologic time scale. Now we insert text box where he is over here. There we go. Insert text box. And then when that comes on, you see that the cursor changed like to an upside down cross. Does that mean the devil? What is that? Okay. Oh, there we go. All right, whatever. Okay. So add your text box and then hit control, either type it out like dinosaur, dinosaurosaurus, Saurus, whatever his name is, okay? And that's how you do that, okay? So that part's pretty easy, okay? So I'll review that again. You just go to insert, insert up here, text box over here, and then you make one, and then you just type in it, or you can also copy and paste um, the name of the dinosaur like that, okay? So I think that covers everything. So then you'll do your pictures of three to four dinosaurs here on your continent during Cretaceous. Add the name of the dinosaur and if it was an herbivore, omnivore, carnivore. And anything where I put click tutorial, it's probably gonna be like literally the first, this exact one. But in case you forget, um, and then you have your um, two flowering plants and two non-flowering plants. So now that you are doing this um, by yourself, you have to do the ecosystem component, which you can't just have one plant. So that's why I'm doing making each human do four total plants and then three to four total dinosaurs. So your food webs and food chains um, are able to be made. Okay, so you do this, the same instructions, making sure you delete the instructions, then doing the names of the title slides and then here, copy and paste your dinosaurs and plants here several times to make your ecosystem on your continent. And then you can have the sun, you can add water in if you'd like, um, like water drops. So you can put like uh, insert, insert picture, picture online. You can do like rain or raindrops or something like that. So then you're gonna have your dinosaurs already and your plants already done here. So then you just copy from those slides, paste it here. So it looks like a little bit of an ecosystem here. And then the last slide for the week is define ecosystem here. So look up what ecosystem means and get rid of the here and then define ecosystem, blah, 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 whatever that is. And then same thing, carrying capacity. Then watch this video about food chains and energy pyramids, just the energy pyramid specifically, not the biomass um, or the other one. So then this instruction, you can either type out a food chain, literally just type it out, or you can go a little above and beyond and copy and paste um, one plant and two dinosaurs and then add the correct arrows um, to make a food chain. And then the last thing is, write in, or type out here, write out what you would have to do to this food chain to create a food web. So discuss here what you would have to do to create a food web from the food chain you just made up here. And then I give you um, tips about that, okay? 
So listen to this again before you ask me if I have a question or before you have a question that may have been covered in here. All right, and I'm gonna post this now. I love you guys, I miss you.